Hello YouTube, uh, here I am on a video to do a quick questions and answers. I was watching on the partner channel run by Andrew, Dr. Carlo Oger, best of the ED exit video. It's called Stabbed Emergency Room Surgery. And uh, the comment comes from, let's make that up a little bigger there, Coupons Inc or something like that. How do you determine there are no internal organs cut? That's a very, very good question. So this is a laceration right here over the abdomen. <clears throat> and any penetrating injury, you really don't know how deep it went. Uh, if it was like a linear cut, like a box cut, and they just kind of scrape their skin, then it's probably very superficial. But people have different depths of fat tissue. And if just barely nicked the inside, it could have been inside the abdomen. The danger with that going undiagnosed is that it can create a... A, obviously a puncture in an area for the bacteria to get in and create peritonitis, an infection of the peritoneum, or worse, a laceration inside the abdomen. So, <coughs> so obviously it's going to depend on how well the patient looks. They have absolutely no pain, no tenderness. Uh, it's The abdomen is entirely benign. Then the likelihood there being an internal injury is very low. But a tiny little nick in an artery, a vessel, or even the bowel itself could go notice until complications develop hours later. So something that is taught but rarely done is that intraperitoneal lavage. We actually make a nick in the skin over the umbilicus, push a little catheter, put a bag of fluids into the abdomen, swish it around, and pull it back out. And then we would do an analysis on that fluid. If there's blood, if there's feces, if there's particles that shouldn't be in the peritoneum, then there is um, a puncture and the patient needs to be explorated. That's the most invasive way. We can do a CT scan of the abdomen with IV and oral contrast and then image the abdomen and see if there's anything out of place like free fluid in the abdomen or uh, bleeding from a vessel which can be seen on the IV contrast going through. We can also do a much less invasive, less costly, which is an ultrasound. Now, ultrasound would be hard to pick up on tiny little things and we definitely wouldn't pick up on a nick in a bowel, but it pick up free fluid or blood in the abdomen. You do an ultrasound, it's called a FAST. It's done on the aorta side, on the pericardial side, it's done suprapubically, it's done on the flanks, and if you don't see any free fluid anywhere, then there's no free blood in the abdomen. We do that a lot with abdominal traumas after a car accident. So, in this particular case, it is kind of risky, but I decided based on physical exam alone, the fact that the patient looked well and did not have any signs and symptoms, the kind of cut went sideways instead of being a true puncture to not do the CAT scans, not do ultrasound, not do any kind of testing, and just do our management empirically to give him some antibiotics, to watch him in the next 24 hours. He would give him detailed instructions on what to watch for, when to come back to the ER, uh, usually patients like this, I'll even write their telephone number down and give them a call the day later, see how they're doing. This particular patient I actually saw a week or two or months later, and he told me he was doing wonderfully, and there were no complications, so I know that I didn't miss anything. But to be textbook and to be completely safe, you would have had to do ultrasound, CT scan with IV contrast, or a combination of the two. Ultimately, you could have done a surgical consultation to come, somebody come in, evaluate the patient, and push in the belly and determine what kind of proper diagnosis you would need. So, coupons in thank you for your question. I hope that I answered it, and I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot with this video. Don't forget to subscribe, to like the video, to share it, and to help this new channel get, get its legs up. All right? Bye-bye.